How to Reach Champions Division in Arena for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys exactly how to do that. I know it is very hard these days, in this particular season I would say, to reach the Arena Division. While there are new metas, new weapons, and in this particular season, talking about Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2, everything has a new meta. Right now we have new weapons, the transportation items are back, old weapons are being unvaulted, so that means pros will be taking a different approach into these games of Arena. That is why I'm going to be telling you guys in this video how to get to the Arena Division. I have watched and learned from pros from watching their streams and I have jotted down a lot of points what they have been doing to win consecutive games one after the other and this is something that pros won't tell you so make sure you guys watch the full video get a pencil or a paper or something to jot down all the points that I will be telling you guys here in my videos before we go any further and drop a like it is always appreciated in this video also do subscribe to the channel with the post notifications turned on because we are uploading fortnite videos every single day here on our channel and also we are only one subscriber away from hitting 349,000 subscribers so help us get to that goal we do have a supporter creator code we only have three supporters right now so help us get to 10 supporters by using the code tamash Barra in the fortnite item shop now with the introduction getting done let me directly get into the good parts so first tip that i'm going to give you like listen to it very carefully first instruction is to play solos only you heard it, heard it right play solo arenas that's it if you want to reach the arena division in a few days or in a few weeks and you don't want to qualify for the champions division at the end of the season well play solos placement like let's talk about the placement you get points while playing solos if you are in the top 25 position. You get points for getting kills, 20 points per elimination. That's a pretty good deal for, for me. Now I know playing solos is pretty boring. Playing with a friend is, is indeed a lot of fun. But that comes with a lot of consequences and a lot of downside. Let's say like you want to play squads, alright? You want to play squads arena. Well, placement in Squads Arena, you get points once you only reach the top 6. So that's a pretty tough one. And reaching the top 6 in Squads is very difficult. So that means, in Squads, you will be getting 5 points per elimination in a Squad game. But in Solos, you get 20. So that means, even if you get a kill in Squads, that means you're not getting the points back that you will be utilizing while giving it away in the Battle Bus. So will you be able to make the points back that what that you will be paying to the bus driver? Well, I don't think so. Because while you guys are playing squads, and if you guys are, let's say, a mediocre player, well, then you will be wasting a lot of points giving to the bus driver rather than getting 8 kills. Because if you get 8 kills, that multiply that by 5, that comes out to be 40 points. So that means it's either your team has to get like a total of 8 kills to equal the amount of points spent during the battle bus, or place in the top six position this is this sounds pretty difficult isn't it like when i tell it to you guys but in solos if you somehow get to top 25 you get points in solos you get if you get a single kill you get 20 points boom like all the points that you waste in the battle bus comes back at you only when you guys are playing solos in squads your team needs like eight kills to even to break even in solos you just need two kills or a placement by sitting in a bush I know it is very boring and I have been in that place. I have been grinding a lot and I have definitely saying this with experience by winning a lot of games in the last season. Well, solos are boring but fun. it's fun with squads for sure. If you guys want to earn money, if you guys would say like, yo, that dude just won $400. Yo, that, that, that dude just made like $40,000 just by playing these tournaments. Well, if you want to be them, like start grinding in solos. Now. Let's talk about early and mid game. So I'm going to give you guys tips for early game, mid game and end game to win games, help you guys get money, help you become a pro and motivating you to play proper. The first thing that I want to talk about is like you guys lack the motivation. You guys don't have the mindset what pros have. 
Like what pros have is a mindset that you guys don't have. You guys would go in a game and you might think there will be like other sweaty soccer skin players trying to crack 90s within the first second of the game when you guys start fighting. Well, that's that's the mindset that you guys have that's not going to make you a pro. You got to have a mindset like a pro. When you know you're good, you know that you guys can take out any soccer player that comes in your way. Well, that's what pro players like Boga and Clicks have, having consistent performance in each and every game. Now, let's talk about the early and mid-game fights, right? Like all the tips so far. Talking about the drop. Drop as far as possible. If you come to if you are always at the center of the map at the very beginning, you will be destroyed. You will be contested. So drop as far as you guys can. Drop at random POIs. The Fortnite season 2 chapter 2 map is very big. It is bigger than the last season, which is Fortnite chapter 2. There are loads of new places that has been added in the map. So choose a house. Choose a landmark and keep it permanent. So there will be like many houses that you guys can go and make sure that you are not getting contested. Have a spot specific near to that spot that you guys will be landing just in case if you guys are getting contested by two or three people. Don't risk it and it's up to you if you guys want to be a pro or not. So don't fight in the beginning because loot is going to be very RNG and it's going to be like so random that you guys have no idea. So don't take the fight in the early game. Don't like even if you have like let's say a great loadout. Don't challenge the opponent in the early game. There's a good chance you might get third partied if you even win the fight and that is going to leave you with a lot of lost points and less confidence for the next game. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is the moment you land in the map, start getting mats. Get max on brick, wood and metal. Have a proper loadout. I'll be making a different video for the proper loadout if you guys want to check out other Fortnite stuff. Fortnite videos, check out Barrow Gaming, all your favorite Fortnite creators at one spot. Barrow Gaming is the place. And also, guys, if you guys are running low on V Bucks, and if you guys want 13,500 V Bucks, if you guys want to stand a chance, then check out the first link in the description. And you guys will probably stand a chance to win it. Last season we did that. It was so much fun doing that, and it made me so happy when we just when we selected the winner. Then let's resume with our video now let's let's just say like you have a proper loadout you have followed everything that i have told you guys uh for the pre-game now mid game set a new save zone now this is something that i have taught you guys in the last season so you guys are done looting you guys have collected enough materials now you guys are in mid game now you see that there will be like new circles that will be forming in the game and you guys always need to stay in the save zone and I risk it being laid and getting stuck in the storm and probably getting third party inside the storm and getting yourself eliminated for some wrong reasons. So always keep in mind of the save zones. If you guys want, always keep your phone next to yourself, set a timer so that you guys would know when the zone is ending and keep on moving. Don't wait till the end, don't move with the zone, move early because you will get caught, trust me. Now. Next tip that I'm going to talk about is the zone RNG. Where is the next zone is going to be? So to decide, always choose a place almost at the very center of the zone for the next zone that you guys might think. It's better than running away from the storm at the very edge and getting third party. So it's better to stay in the middle, make a one by one and wait over there for the next circle. Now, if you guys are almost in the middle, there is again, a 95% chance you guys will be getting the circle and then you don't have to move around and also getting risk getting sniped or maybe getting third party by another player who just wants to get the kill. So stay at the center, RNG, go to, go to the middle spot fast for every circle. Rotation. For this season, we have the grappler, okay? We have the boats. We have the new swimming meta. So you guys should know like which thing makes you move faster. We even have launch pads right now. So save it till the end, maybe mid game. If you guys are in a tough spot, if you guys need to move really quick, you guys are stuck somewhere. Well, you guys should know when to use it. Now the grapplers are already in the game. So that is like a great addition. So if you guys have it, that is definitely like making you like be in a safe spot, knowing that you guys are going to be safe and you're going to make it till the end. So concentrate on getting the grappler like this is the mid game right 
so we have got like the center marked you are not contesting anybody you are sitting in your one by one you are fine okay now you now, now you have like used a little bit of material in the mid game making one by ones trying to save yourself now it comes end game right you have your survival points end game i've seen so many players do something really wrong in the end game they will just sit in their one by ones in their end game and try to move in and out of the circle that is the time you should start third partying other people when you see they are moving you're in a good spot start third party you never know R big risk equals to big rewards you never know you see somebody moves like sitting inside a box pretty vulnerable getting third party joining in that fight who knows maybe that person's hp is just maybe like only remaining for the last 10 percent so one bullet will do wonders so try it out you will get the kill you will be happy you'll think about this video and you will share this video with your friends as well so yeah in the last circle when you know like you have got your position you have got your points for the top 25 start third partying okay don't wait for it plus the far the faster you move in the end game your mats are about to get finished so once you kill somebody you get a passive of 150 mats plus it gives you a, it grants you an opportunity to go and loot that person who knows maybe that person had a, like another 200 materials which would definitely lead you to the uh, top five position in the end game you can always try replacing walls get, try to third party and not be third party that's the most important thing uh, you can always stay at the top of any build don't stay like at the level be behind like below the top person because the top person will pressurize you don't stay at the very bottom stay like somewhere in middle like talking about levels at the end game so that you are not contested that much and you guys are in a good spot save metal and brick for the end game start with wood in the mid game and then save metal and br and brick for the end game because they are the strongest material but it's fine if you guys don't have any try to use wood try to survive and that's the most important thing always kill while rotating because that's when the players are most vulnerable pressure your opponents because trust me when someday you will get pressured you will think that why shouldn't i put pressure on somebody else so be that person put pressure on your opponent don't let the opponents pressure you get my point who knows maybe they're they're maybe on like one hp one bullet and boom you have an elimination boom you reach champions division that's how easy it is so getting to champions division is very easy but it requires a lot of patience it requires a lot of grinding even if you let's say get eliminated in the very first place you're not supposed to get mad and get angry or, or break something you get my point that's gonna like you know that's gonna throw you off your composure and you will do bad in tournaments you'll do bad in pro games so don't do that it's a, just a matter of time and grinding and i'm pretty sure you guys will be able to reach it because this is what i follow this is what i have seen pros do it and they will never like tell you guys that we do it i have spent hours hours plenty of hours watching these pro players what they do what's their regimen what timetable they follow we don't have to put a lot of time in this game only thing that is that we gotta be smart I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'm going to be catching you guys with another one very, very soon. You guys have a fantastic day ahead and as always, peace out.